Welcome to this new video. Today I want to show you a really cool app that allows you to use your iPhone as a virtual camera in Blender. Let's get started. To get started, you first need to download the virtual camera app to your iPhone or iPad. Unfortunately, it is currently only available for iOS devices. You also need to download the corresponding plugin from virtualcamera.com. Once downloaded, open Blender and go to the User Preferences. In the Add-ons tab, click on Install and select the zip file you just downloaded. Now tick the checkbox next to the add-on and you are ready to go. When you now open the side panel in the 3D viewport, you can find the virtual camera options. Click on Start Service and the QR code should appear. This can be scanned with the virtual camera app and the iPhone will build a connection to the computer via Wi-Fi. First, you can choose the camera you want to use if you have more than one in your scene. Then just tap on this window in the middle to load the preview. If possible, connect the PC to your router with a LAN cable instead of using Wi-Fi to improve the connection speed. Another thing you can do is to scroll out from the camera view since this lowers the resolution of the video stream. For this scene, it also helps to enable simplify, turn off subdivisions in the viewport and limit the texture size. To start using it as a virtual camera, press the button in the top right corner. Move your device a bit around to initialize the tracking system. It uses the camera of your iPhone to orient in 3D space so make sure you don't cover it with your fingers and avoid doing it in dark rooms. Once the app is ready, you can start moving around. You can even zoom in and out with the focal length slider next to the viewport. To achieve better results, it can also be useful to increase the smoothing. I find the app to be very stable and reliable and I got some great results out of it. If you have a really big scene, it might be worth adjusting the scale in the settings. In my case, the camera moves 5 Blender units per meter I walk. Once you are ready, you can press the record button and your movement will be keyframed. This video is not sponsored and I truly believe in the potential of this app. It is a lot of fun to walk through your own scenes and I love how intuitive it is to animate the camera. I'm definitely going to use this for future projects. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for sticking around until the end. If you like the content I produce, please consider supporting Blender Daily on Patreon. This would help me a lot to keep producing valuable tutorials. I am Nick from Blender Daily, see you in the next one.